Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. We're so happy you could join us today because we are continuing our series on the wonders of painting on Ark. Now, anyone can paint dinosaurs, and today we are going to teach you how to paint one of these wonderful little critters and give it a beautiful sunset pattern so that it will be very easy to see in the woods or anywhere else on Ark. Now, many of my viewers have told me that after having happy little accidents in the woods while exploring this wonderful world of Ark, they have lost their pteranodon and could not find them. So today we are going to teach you how to make them so brightly colored you'll be able to see them just about anywhere. I also wanted to say thank you to all of the wonderful people who subscribe to this channel. Your support is what makes this channel a happy place for all of you to enjoy. Because of your support, we are well on our way to our goal of 900 subscribers, and when we reach that goal, I will do a full Bob Ross painting on a Brontosaurus. So if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, be sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for that video because it is coming fast because of all of your support. Now I wanted to give you another painting video because we just reached 800 subscribers and I really appreciate all of you who have written us letters about your encouragement and given us great questions. Please continue to ask good questions in the comments and we will do our best to answer everything and teach you how to enjoy your journey on Ark. So let's get started. Now the first thing we need to do before we start painting is get all of our supplies and paints. Now we have an episode where we taught you how to cook all of the dyes and paints we're going to use in a cooking pot which is unlocked at level 8. So we'll put a link in the description for how to do that. And then the paintbrush is unlocked at level 9 and you can make that with just some simple supplies. Anyone can make a paintbrush as long as they're level 9. Now you equip it just like a weapon and then you can use the right trigger to just beat the devil out of things. It's not very effective as a weapon but this part's really fun. So if you click the left trigger you can actually pull up a window that will allow you to paint yourself and you can paint your hair, you can give yourself tattoos, add a little lipstick if you're into that kind of thing or if you hit the right trigger you can paint your dinosaurs as long as you're targeting them. So this is going to pull up the painting window, and if I move my cursor onto the right hand side, I can use the free paint option, which gives us all kinds of designs we can paint. Now on the left side, we have our painting palette, and this lets us select whichever paints we want to use for painting. So we're going to select a nice purple to start out because we are going to paint a sunset scene. So we click the B button to select the purple paint and then drag that over to the paintbrush and move the cursor there. And then we're going to click the B button again to add that paint to our paintbrush. Now we just want to get a little bit of dab on the bristles. Just gently dab that. Now we move to the right hand window and we click the B button to open up that window. And as you can see, we can use the right stick to rotate this pteranodon around. And we can use the left stick to move the cursor, which is going to actually show where we're painting. Oh, looks like this little devil had a happy little accident. Sorry about that. So I am going to have to use the mouse a little bit because it's a little different on my screen since I am playing on PC. But as you can see here, using the left stick will allow you to move the cursor, and the right stick allows you to pan the dinosaur back and forth. You can hold down the left bumper and use the right stick to rotate your dinosaur, or you can hold down the left trigger and use the right stick to zoom in and out. So that's how you change the view on your dinosaur. And you want to move that to where you can just really see a good view of where your dinosaur is and what you're painting. Now you can click the left stick to make a wide brush 
which is great for more broad strokes like when you're painting the background because you don't want that to be very detailed, or you can left click again to switch to a thin brush for painting details like what's going to be in the foreground of your painting. It's great for painting sticks and bushes and all of that good stuff. Now I'm going to pan this over so that I can get a really good clear view of my canvas. And it might take me a little while because the controls are a little bit different on PC. It's a little harder to control. Now, if you want to use fine camera movements, you can hold the left bumper and use the D-pad, which is the arrows on the left side of your controller, to actually move that camera in very small amounts. So when I've got the camera in a good position, I'm holding down the right trigger to actually apply paint. Now, I'm stuck on this fine brush, so it is using paint much more slowly, and it's kind of like painting this with crayons. It's going to take a little while, but we are going to go ahead and add some of this detail. Now, if you look in the background on the left-hand side of my screen, you can see that the wing of this pteranodon is actually being painted. So that is turning more purple as we paint. And I'm just going to put the top of this wing is going to be a deep royal purple because the top of a sunset is oftentimes a very dark, very deep color. In our little world, this is going to be a late sunset, so the very top of the sky is already starting to turn to dusk. Now I'm going to move this over, which is a little bit harder on PC because the mouse pans very slowly, and we're going to go ahead and add that on the left hand wing as well. Now you could put that anywhere in your little world. It can be whatever you want. This is your world and you can make the big decisions. But for us, we're going to try to make this a nice even blending of colors. So we're going to cover this tip in purple. Now we're going to fast forward a little bit because it takes quite a while to cover all of the pteranodon's wings with purple. And we are just going to paint all over the tip of this wing until that's a very deep royal purple color. And that's going to be just beautiful. That gives a really good highlight to this sunset. And it looks like our pteranodon just keeps having happy little accidents. So we are going to zoom around here so we can cover the beak of this pteranodon in a nice purple color. Look at that deep royal purple. So we're going to cover that right up to about here, and that's just going to be a really nice style. Now, I always like to take a second while I'm painting and cancel out of the painting because it will save automatically. And as you can see here, the pteranodon actually has all of these colors. And mm, looks like we've got a little loot drop down here. So we'll go check that out too. This could be something really good. But while we're flying, take a look at that paint. And this pteranodon has some really cool purple colors. So let's just see what happy little loot drop we've got here. And, well, what do you know? They got a pteranodon saddle. That was pretty lucky because I want to teach you how to paint a pteranodon saddle today. And that's going to be really handy because that should be a little better than a current saddle we're using. So, I went ahead and opened up this pteranodon again, and as you can see, we have a purple brush here. And we've been using up some of the paint on the purple brush, and if you look at the bottom, it says paint available, and shows the color of paint we're using, and how much of that paint we've used up. Now every time we use paint, that little bar will go further towards the left until there's no paint left. Now let's go ahead and change to red. Now we drag the red paint over, and we're just going to dip that in the water and beat the devil out of it. There you go. Now we can change to our red dye. And just like when we applied the purple, we just hit B to select the red, and then drag it down to the paintbrush, and hit B again to make sure we're using red paint. And now if you look at the bottom of the bar, it says paint available, and that whole bar is a bright, beautiful red. And that's exactly what we wanted here. So take a look at the head on this pteranodon, and I want to make my next color a deep sunset red. And as you can see here, it's kind of blending into the purple. And that's because we bathed our pteranodon in liquid white, which makes all of the paint just blend together while we're painting.
So we're going to give it some nice deep reds all the way along the head here. And we're using very bright, vibrant colors. The reason we chose a sunset is because that will make it really easy to see if we lose our pteranodon in the woods. Now, we have a happy little accident here, but that's easy to fix. There are no mistakes on arc painting, just happy little accidents. So we just use the right bumper in order to erase any little happy accidents, and that's just going to fix any problems we have, because there are no problems in arc painting, just happy little accidents. So we're going to move this a little faster and fast forward, and we're just going to paint all over this pteranodon with red. Now I'm moving the pteranodon so you can get a better view, because sometimes the light in the game makes it a little bit hard to see, and it can make it a bit dark on certain areas. So we're going to just keep painting this pteranodon's bill here, and just cover the whole head in red, which will make it a lot easier to see when we are out exploring the world. So that should be pretty good for the red, and now we're going to start blending in the red all across the wings. Now you can decide where the red and purple meet. This is your world, and you're making all the big decisions here, but there are no mistakes. Just happy little accidents. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to blend this in pretty well, but it's okay if there's little spots that are missing. We're just going to do our best and just relax and enjoy ourselves. So there we go. We're going to keep painting this red stripes here. And that'll be kind of like when the sun just is dipping below the clouds. You get some beautiful red colors in the sunset. So we are just about done coloring in the sunset on this wing. And take a look at that, just like so. We've got a beautiful sunset pattern going. Now when we take off, you can see just how bright this pteranodon is looking. Oh, that's beautiful. So we're going to be able to see this pretty well, even if we were to stop here. And I highly recommend any time you're going to take a dinosaur out, if you've got the time to paint it, it'll help you a lot to be able to see those bright colors and help you see that dinosaur in the woods if it gets lost. So these colors are blending together beautifully. And we're going to clean off this brush. Just beat the devil out of it. <laughs> I love this part. And we're going to show you how to dye the colors on his saddle. Since his saddle is currently just an ugly brown, but dyeing saddles is very much like dyeing any other item, like the armor that we showed you how to dye on another episode. So we're going to actually open up our inventory, and we're going to click on the dye that we want, like this yellow yellow, and then click it over to the saddle in our inventory. That's going to have a lot better armor than the saddle that we currently have because we got it from a drop. So we're just going to select whichever color that we want and click the B button to select it. And then we'll click that again when we've got selected the pteranodon saddle. And that will open up this painting window here for dyeing the saddle. And we can select whichever region we want to dye. And you can see it's going to color those regions and give us a little bit of a preview. But remember, it's usually a lot brighter when you actually color it. it keeps having happy little accidents. I think I fed him too much today. So. Each time you select a region, you can select the paint and the dye that you want to add to that region. It'll give you a little preview, and then if you like it, you hit Apply Paint. And you can just select any color you want. This is your world, and you can color this however you want to. So there's the current saddle right there, and we are just going to equip this new saddle. And as you can see, it's bright yellow and red, and that is going to be easy to spot in the woods. So if you want to make your dinosaur stand out just a little bit without actually painting it, that's a good way to do that. So let's open this back up, and we are going to select the orange paint, and then apply that to our brush. And now we can actually start painting some good orange orange color into this beautiful sunset. I think that's going to be our next color is a nice vibrant orange which will stand out really well. Now you may notice construction workers wear a lot of orange and that's so people can see them really well and nobody runs over them. No happy little accidents for them. So we keep accidentally painting over that that uh, eye right there which just looks really weird so we will fix that. There's no mistakes just happy little accidents and we'll just be able to fix that by holding down down the top right bumper once we get done painting. I usually like to paint everything 
and then come back and then correct any happy little accidents after that using the eraser. So we'll get that crest to be nice orange color and then we'll come back down and we'll just clean off his little eye using the right bumper, make it so he can see better. There we go. That's perfect. So we're going to fast forward a little bit because this is going to take some time and we will just continue to paint this orange. Now we'll fill in that orange using nice even strokes and it would be a little easier to use a large brush and we'll just fix his eye a little bit so you can see better. And now we're going to continue to blend down along this wing making nice strokes and we'll just blend that along. Now don't stress about making everything perfect. Life doesn't have to be so perfect. <laughs> just look at our pteranodon here. He keeps pooping on screen. Nothing perfect about that, but we still love him. I just love this little critter. So we're going to continue to paint on these wings, even if there's little spots that don't quite blend right. And we'll just make this a nice paint all the way along there. If you mess up, if you get too much, that's okay. We'll just give it a little eraser and everything is just perfect. So I think that's pretty good for the orange. So we'll just beat the devil out of that brush and switch in some yellow paint and we'll continue painting down the body of this pteranodon. Now, it's always really important to pay attention to where the light source is on your painting and we're just going to have the light coming out from the saddle here, just like that's the sun. So we'll just add this whole body on this pteranodon to be a nice yellow color. And now the bottom of this pteranodon, we're not really going to see much while we're riding it, but I want it to be really easy to see if the pteranodon flies up into the sky. So we're just going to add a whole lot of yellow squiggles all over that pteranodon, and it just looks like a three-year-old painted it, didn't it? But that's okay. We're mostly just painting the bottom to make it really visible, and we saw a little couple spots we missed down here, so we'll just fix that on up. So we'll just beat the devil out of that brush, clean off all that yellow, and we're switching back on to some red. Now every time you use a new color on your paint, it's going to use up a whole dye, even if you haven't used up all the color. So just keep that in mind. It's better to paint all the red on your painting all at once, and then paint all the yellow. So we wasted a little bit of dye here, but that's okay. Nobody's judging us, because this is just about your world and you enjoy it. So take a look at the bottom of that pteranodon. That is one crazy paint job. We are just getting crazy. But that's okay because our main goal here is to make it easy to see if we're below it and you can see it easily standing out against the sky. So I think we're done. That is a beautiful pteranodon here. And we'll just sign that and take a look. We are not going to lose that pteranodon easily. We should be able to spot it from just about anywhere. And that is one beautiful little critter. So the next thing that we're going to show you if we land this pteranodon is how to actually save the painting. Now I really like this design and we have some more pteranodons. So if at any point we lose this pteranodon, I'd like to be able to load that same paint job. And so we're going to open up its inventory again and we can actually save these designs in the paint using this little feature that we're going to show you here. So once we've got that opened up, at the very top of the screen, there is a save paint option. And if we select that, we can set up a name for this painting job. And I'm just going to call this Sunset Pteranodon, because that's a pretty good name for that. And of course, that doesn't fit. So we'll just call that Sunset Terra. And that should let us know what that's going to look like. So I'll go ahead and set that. And now you can use the load painting feature. And we can actually take a look at the paint job. And if we select Sunset Terra from the list, you can see the very top there shows the actual designs. And that's what the painting looks like on both sides of the pteranodon. Now on the left side, it shows the needed resources. And it says it's going to use 35% of the orange that I have. 18% of the purple, and there's nothing that I'm missing. But if I was missing something, I would have to make some more paints. Well, shoot, I think that's about all the time we have today, but I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please
please drop a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us a lot. And drop a comment to let us know if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more painting videos where we paint dinosaurs on ARC. We will definitely be bringing you more episodes like this one. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. It really helps us out a lot. And once we hit 900 subscribers, we will do a Bob Ross painting on the side of a brontosaurus. So I do hope you enjoy that. You should also check out some of our other tutorials on this channel. We have some great guides and tutorials, tips and tricks for how to really get the most out of ARC and enjoy this game to its fullest. And until next time, happy painting and God bless you, my friend. Thanks so much for watching this video from the ARC Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. ARC is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.